And parallel, Laura G. I'm Wanted a slow mo entrance into something just random, like going to the washroom, just like. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> <laughs> Always wanted one. Hi guys, I'm so happy to be back. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah. <laughs> I left my notes over there. Mary called to me eventually. Oh, thank you. Um, so it's funny you're mentioning. I'm not gonna bring it down too much. You mentioned that that guy bought the guns off the web, off the internet. That true fact. I'm asking you. Yep, I can't see you in the dark. Is that, is that true fact? That's crazy. Today, I spent two hours in Second Cup using their internet to buy lint rollers off of Amazon. I'm just saying, like, I can't buy things off the internet. I get too nervous, like, is that gonna work? We wanna test it out, right? Lint rollers, guys. It was awful. One's like 30% stickier, one's 50%, like 50% more than what, is my question. 30%, why do you even have the 30% if you had the 50% and then you had the professional grade? <laughs> I don't fucking know, it's a masking tape in reverse, that's all I know. <laughs> oh, I have a cat, okay. <laughs> Seriously, I, I had a to-do list today in the coffee shop, this isn't even my set, <laughs> and I wrote it down. <laughs> and the first thing was buy lit rollers off the internet. <laughs> because here's why, guys, They're, they used to have a great brand. This is stupid. <laughs> I get irate about this. They used to have a really great brand in Shoppers Drug Mart years ago. Um, of memories. And now I think Bounce bought them or something. Like, no, only Bounce has dominated the lint roller industry in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> they're not sticky enough. <laughs> so I fucking, okay, I had a cat. <laughs> Why am I laughing? I had, a, <laughs> I had a cat a few years ago. He died. No big deal. It happens. Eventually, um, and and so I didn't, I got a new cat, so I did get in the lip roller train again, and my brand was no longer in the store, and I was irate about this because it's not sticky enough, and if you have a cat, you realize that you need sticky, because <laughs> you're throwing this shit out. You want each fucking piece of uh, masking tape to work well. Well, the bounce don't work. They have a scent in it, which doesn't help. Just clean your clothing and then get me a sticky lip roller. Anyways, guys, I I fully Googled, I, I searched my old brand of lint roller. I forget how, but I learned it was called Evercare. <laughs> this isn't my fucking set. It Evercare, and I Googled it, and I found them in the States, and they sell them in six packs. So, like, <laughs> so literally every few months, I go on Amazon and buy a six pack, but every once in a while, they're not available, and I start freaking out. <laughs> rationing my pieces of masking tape and um, today they're also again not available so I had to like go pet hair removal lint roller it was awful two hours he bought guns <laughs> no qualms I gotta get that one quantity two ship this address billing this address I was like oh, so that sounds really easy <laughs> um, oh, honestly my life I do so I own a cat and um Here's the deal. I tell people cat stories because I bought him. I bought him. I did buy him, and I got him in November. And he's wicked. And his name is Murphy. And he's not the bitch cat because, of course, that was my main concern about getting a new cat. Was my old cat was wicked. I didn't want to get a bitch cat because they they do exist. I'll admit. But people don't want to hear my stories, and I think that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> because I listen to people stories with their boyfriends, with their girlfriends, about their fucking babies, and I'm supposed to go, that's so cute. But when I talk about my cat, it's sad. <laughs> I'm si it seriously bothers me. Like, I'm like, my cat is so cute when he comes home. Like, I open the door, he's on my bed, and he's like on his back, twisted, like, come here. <laughs> it's fucking adorable. <laughs> it's stupid how adorable that is. I didn't train him to do that. He just likes me a lot. And I don't, fuck you, I'm telling you. But they're like, I need a boyfriend. No, I don't. <laughs> my cat is wicked. <laughs> Uh, pictures of your fucking disgusting fetus on Facebook. <laughs> that's, a, that's a black and white photo of your insides. <laughs> and I can't show you a picture.
picture on my phone of my cat sleeping in my arms. Fuck you. Okay, and when your boyfriend cheats on you, well, guess what? My cat the other day got shit stuck to his ass and was running around all this smearing everywhere. But that's not a real complaint. Right? So I can't do that. I do every I don't need a boyfriend. I don't need a boyfriend. I don't need, I seriously don't. Um, I am single. <laughs> Actually, I said I don't, I don't need a boyfriend who's here. And I'm like, I don't need one. No, no um, so yeah, I've been single. I, I, I have been single uh, for approximately just over a year, and it's been fantastic. Uh, I broke up with my boyfriend, uh, my ex-boyfriend. I hate that when you say your boyfriend, but he's not your boyfriend anymore. No big deal. So, I'm off track. So, I broke up with him. It was, you know, same thing. It wasn't going anywhere. And, and I know people, I've never heard anyone talk like this, but it was seriously true. The sex life was not very good. And it's hard to break up with someone, not only for that fact, but a big portion. It, was, it was not, wasn't doing it, you know? <clears throat> and I think it's a really important part of a relationship. It just is. So it was hard when you really love the person, or I didn't love them, but you love the person a lot. <laughs> I didn't love them, that was about the problem. Um, but you like them a lot, and like, ah, it sucks that that's the reason. Like, it's not your personality, it's not our times together, it's just the, the sex is not very good. Um, so now, you know, a year later, I'm genuinely, no matter how many people think it's like me just being denial, I'm happily single, it's great. Uh, I love not having to call someone, not having to do all the whole well, the drama, the figuring, the learn. I don't want to learn about anyone. <laughs> I honestly, I don't. And I don't want to tell you about me. If I have one person ask me like what kind of music I like, I'm like, I'm out. I can't do this. I can't, I honestly can't. It's, 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 if it happens naturally, guys, I'm open to it. Just letting you know. But it's just, but the, the, like the, 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 the formula of like, so what are you into? Oh, fuck off, go away. I don't want to talk about this. I really don't. I don't want to know what you're into. I don't want to know what your hobbies are. I don't give a shit. I really don't, I don't care. But mostly, I don't want to meet a new penis. <laughs> That's a real concern. Because, now I don't know, because I haven't seen a lot of vaginas in my time. I seriously, just mine. Um, <laughs> but, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm happy to be corrected, but aren't they kind of all the same to a certain degree? Isn't it just, in the dark, isn't it just a hole? <laughs> Bear with me, ladies, I'm, I'm not like against this. I'm just saying that, think about it. Really, like, there's like, there's why, there's tire, you know, it happens, but, but then there's like, you know, furrier and that, but that's, but ultimately, when you break it down, it's a hole, and a penis, size and shapes, temperaments, oh god, right? I know, I haven't been with too many, well, I don't like a number or anything, but, but they're just, they're so fucking different. You feel like, it's, it's, and I used to get excited about the whole surprise, like, what's it gonna be? And then you're like, <laughs> you, cause you like a guy, you're like, oh man, this, oh, I hope it's a good one. Right, it's like a birthday present, you're just like, please God, get the, the name brand. Like, you're like, you're like <laughs> <laughs> second hand or like, no name fucking t-shirt. No. <laughs> That's what I'm saying is, I'm tired of that. The, the mystery, I don't give a shit anymore. I don't, I don't want to know, because it, it, it's awful. I have notes. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to like just come out naturally, and it didn't work at all. Size of shape, temperaments, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Unwrapping, yep. Yeah. Because uh, here's what I figured out. That whole like hand, foot, tall, short, fuck, bullshit. <laughs> Deception incarnate is all I'm saying. I had a tall boyfriend last time. Tall boyfriend, big hands, big feet. Didn't work. Thing didn't work. <laughs> What's the key to that one? Right? What is it? Oh, I want to, I'm curious. Because if, if, if there's like a telltale sign that it's not going to work properly, I want to, like a twitch. Is there like a twitch? <laughs> and it's like, oh, oh, you're going to fail halfway through. <laughs> it's going to go soft. I know the twitch. So it's the little twitch, right? Because the thing is, another reason why I'm kind of, I'm over it is because I'm the kind of person that, if something bad happens to me, I kind of mentally prepare to like not let that happen again. I'm kind of apprehensive. Like, okay, in grade nine, I got a turkey breast sandwich from Tim Hortons, and I got food poisoning, and I barfed for like a couple days. I didn't buy a turkey breast sandwich or any cold cut sandwich from Tim Hortons for a couple of years. I was like, bagel cream cheese, done. Can't fuck up bagel cream cheese. 
So right now, all I'm saying is that my bagel cream cheese right now is masturbation. That's all I'm saying, it's tried and true. I'm just sesame seed, fucking toasted, plain cream cheese. And that's my... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Herbert Garlic, if I'm feeling fancy. <laughs> now, use that in your window for whatever you want. I don't want uh, That's all I'm saying. Um, do I still have more time? I don't know how much time I have because I ranted about weapons. <laughs> how much time do I have? Do I have more time? You're not listening to me. You guys are. <laughs> what? Two minutes? Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, oh, that one, that's a good one. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm in my paper cream cheese. So I'm gonna skip off that for a bit. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna do a little bit of oldie and see how it goes. Uh, so I uh, can be, given the right circumstances, very awkward. And so I, 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 I was working with someone, and some of you probably know the story, I don't care, I'll tell it again. Um, I once was doing a film, and I went to this, the person tells they're doing the, uh, the music, they're doing original music scores. And I met the dude, uh, as a girl and guy, and the dude came out and he had like a, like a T-Rex hand from birth. Not a, is a thing. He is like, like this, and he played guitar, so like, wicked good for him, right? But like, he just, like, I don't know what to do in those situations because like, I really wish people would just call it out. Like, just, you know, like, because I, 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 I mean, like, just go <laughs> Like, just, just do that so that I know that you're, aw I know he's aware he has it. There's no way he like, oh shit, like, no saying <laughs> But like, but, but it's just like, just, why can't you be, just be sympathetic to me? Because I'm just like a fucking self-entitled asshole, apparently. And just like, just comfort me about your deformity. But seriously, have a sense of humor about it. Like, call it out. If I miss missing an arm, I'd be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'd be like, oh, oh, it's still there. And it's not, I'm just joking. Anyways, like, just make me feel better. Because it's just like, and of course he puts, that's the hand he puts up to shake my hand. Like, yeah, I dare you. Like, like you have to. You could have just given me the normal one and made me feel better or done the joke. <laughs> that's like that's like that's like personal and business. You can just like have fun, business, right? Like it's like a party favor. And and I just anyway, so I shook his hand, but I was so I had a firm handshake. So it's hard when you do like your natural impulse is now question, like should I squeeze it? Can you take it? <laughs> What's gonna, is it gonna just snap off? I mean it's barely there to begin with, you know, like it's just gonna fall right off. All I'm saying is, if your child are, is born with a deformity, I'm very sad. And if and if any of you at any time in your life have a horrible accident, honestly, awful, and if, it, if something is lost, awful, I'm, I'm not unsympathetic to it, but just let's take a moment and just find the humor for everyone else in the room. <laughs> if you could. Uh, it's just a personal request. If I have a child, and I probably will not because I'm going to manifest this shit. <laughs> it's not like how I'm afraid of having a, a child that has a med, like something wrong. I'm like, I don't want kids, I don't want kids, but it's weird. Um, but like, if I have a kid that has a, a T-Rex hand, I'm going to like, that's me, her. Let's do, all the, let's do role play. <laughs> what can we use this for? All I'm saying, I, I have no way to end that because I sound awful, but it, just, it was an awkward moment. You guys have been great. Thank you so much.